Hello everybody, my name is Eshu Fan, and today we'll be taking a look at Food Fantasy JP because today they just had their holiday update. Thank goodness. And in this update, they have a lot of things now included. They now have a event for um they now have an event for gingerbread and for um eggnog. That's who it is, which we'll go over and all that of how to do this, what do you have to do, and uh, sadly how this is a ranking event. But that's fine. <laughs> and also, they now have a new character added. They now have roast turkey and also beer added to the gotcha. As you can see here. And um, yes, of course, I will be pulling because I need, I need roasted turkey, like please but as you can see it's in a normal it's in the regular gotcha which has everyone it's not like in a select gotcha like how it was like the other previous ones like when i pulled for hot pot and all that how she was like in that selected gotcha and that if you pulled seven times you'll get her for sure and all that but because i'm not sure if the mercy mechanic works and all that for here praying it does because then i'll hopefully be able to get i hopefully will be able to get turkey but this is what turkey looks like, and oh my god, yes please. This is what his normal skin looks like and his ascended skin. This is what his little chibi looks like. Ugh, I want it so bad. So I am going to do a um a whole a gotcha video coming soon. It's probably going to be after the holiday break, after like the holidays. That are coming up i'll probably upload a video then of me pulling for turkey <sighs> hopefully we're able to get them but today we're here to talk about the gingerbread and eggnog event which of course lee happens to be a ranking event which in order to get gingerbread and here are the rankings of course, so you have to, in order just to get 15 shards of her, you'll have to be in at least 3,000 to 15,000's place. So where I am currently, I am right now able to get 15 shards of her. Of course, I'm going to play a lot more in all that in this event. I'm hoping at least I'm able to get her because in order, and of course, Lee, if depending on how much damage you do and all that, it also depends on um, if you'll get like your avatar as gingerbread and if you'll have the holiday frame to go with it. Of course, if, as you can see, the top amount of damage currently, I won't be able, I'm not, probably not going to do it. Because in the top 100 people, you get just that. Like, you get the avatar. Okay, so, back to what we were talking about. This is the event, of course, Lee, I only played, right now, only just one time, and I only was able to get 15 points after my first play. And I'll show you what my team is and all that. And so, here is everything you get, of course, Lee you need to get a certain amount of points because this is now for how you get eggnog which oh i really want eggnog so i'm definitely going to try it for this event but these are all the rewards you get after playing and all that there, it, it's, it's a lot so you could just eventually once you hit one uh 1800 points you just get one shard of eggnog and then, of course, Lee, the more you play, the continue you play, then you'll get eventually 25 shards of eggnog, then 35 shards of eggnog, then 45 shards of eggnog, and then you'll, at 10,000 points, you'll for sure get eggnog. Like, you will get, you will get him. And, of course, Lee, the more you play and all that, the more you play and you fight, you get more and more shards. Actually, if you're able to get to 25,000, you actually get gingerbread. Yay! That's a lot better than what I was told. Yes. Okay. So you actually can get gingerbread by play just playing. Oh my god, it'll take me forever just to get gingerbread. But I will fight. And then eventually at the end, I think if you keep on playing, you'll get close to maybe fully ascending him. I'm not for sure. I haven't added up all of the shards and all that to see how much it'll cost. But every time to like refill up your jewels it's 25 jewels which is really good because <laughs> i have a lot and i'm here wanting to play 
But this is my team currently that I'm using for this event. This is my team currently, but it's not a very strong team at all, but it's the team I have for right now, but I'm gonna try a new, like, uh, try different styles of teams to see which one gets me the most amount of points, because I kind of need the most amount of points, because I would like to get eggnog, gingerbread, I like to get them all. That's what I came here for, and roasted turkey, of course, but I have to pull for him, which I'll do later, because I, I want to be able to have enough to do at least, have at least 6,000 soul numbers. So if there is a mercy, I would be hopefully able to get the chance to get him. Cause I really want him. But I also want gingerbread and eggnog. So we're just gonna have to go with it. But this is my current team. This is like what we, what I usually do like for damage wise. And each play, is um it does cost 30 so it is expensive but yeah it's not but it's also not that expensive to refill your jewels which is good i'm not sure it doesn't really say how many times you can purchase this too so here we go let's just see what happens <laughs> Oh yeah, I forget, I don't have anybody that like matches together, so I just have to like just watch them go and all that. Yeah. And so that was it. <laughs> it doesn't take long for my team. But like I said, I'm going to be definitely changing around and tweaking some stuff to see like who's better and all that. Because right now my goal is now to get up to 25,000 points. I only have nine days to do it. I have nine days of 17 hours. So it, it seems like you can purchase this unlimited amount of times. Which is good. <laughs> okay, because it seems like for this event, if you want gingerbread, you will have to spend jewels. Especially if you also want to rank. It seems like you're going to have to spend jewels if you're going to want to rank. So... Let us change our teams around and see, see like what's good and all that. So I'll keep milk. Um, I'll add black tea. I'll go ahead and add her. I'll add kimchi. And who else should we add? I'll add my P52. Okay. I just this team's not as strong, but it definitely has a lot of people that can hopefully do well in the battles. Oh, also another thing, I forgot to I mention this, but um, the vodka skin, which I would love to get, but right now um, she is 888 coupons, but because the Japanese server is so new, not many people are able to get her at all because it's 888. For me, I pretty much started right, like, the server was about like two weeks old when I started, and I only have 300 coupons, and I played a lot. <laughs> So that's what I'm hoping for. But now let's let's go back to the gingerbread event and um, let's go fight. Here we go, let's see how they do. I gotta pay attention a lot more to this one. That was terrible. Okay. So it seems like what you're probably gonna wanna do for this is definitely definitely put all of your like strongest people in one team and just go <laughs> because seems like it, it's this is definitely harder <laughs> so i'm gonna put everyone back on i'm also i'm just gonna try doing all my urs now definitely see how that goes. Um, 
Okay, let's see how this turns out. We're here to test. We're here to test and figure out what's good. Yeah, here we go. I wonder if over time your jewels like add like add back up. I don't know, if we get more than 30, then we know this is a much better team. If we get more than 15, I mean, then we know this is a better team. Okay. So, uh, this is so far better. I think I just got 15 again. I th Do you just get 15 every time you play? Oh, and then how much damage you do, you, you do in ranking? Or no. I think you just get 15 every time you play. And of course, like, every time you up and all that, it unlocks a new story. So, like, when we start here, we get we start through the gingerbread story, because she has a background and all that. And so they have it, like, they, they, they have a story. Like the pizza event, they have a story for her. Of course, if you want to go through and read it, you can. There's it, there's a lot. Eggnog. Ugh, I really want you. <laughs> you could translate and all that. I have no idea what this says. And that and that gives ascended skin too. Which is like, oh wow, I want that, but I don't think I'm able to get that. And that was the first part of the story! Wasn't it great? Didn't you enjoy everything? I don't know what happened. But it seems like in this- it seems like what happens is that it is- uh, every time you play you get 15 points. And I think the ranking system here is based off of how many points you have currently at the moment. So of course, Lee, the more gems you could throw out this game, the better. The more amount of points you get, of course, Lee. So, of course, right now I'm 8,000th place, so that puts me still in this in this area, around this area. And we don't want to be there. We want to be, like, in this area, <laughs> which that's going to take a lot. So, we're just, I'm just going to have to just grind myself all the way there. But that's all, that's everything to this Christmas or holiday update, as you want to call it that is so far out right now and also they right now have an event like this special gotcha where um i think it's i think it's less or more up or it's the same i'm not sure but if you have for paid jewels you can right now pull for only eight you do a 10 pull for right now only 800 jewels which is of course really a lot better than this gotcha where it costs 1000 jewels for a 10 pull if you've run out of soul embers which is a lot. So, I don't have any paid jewels right now. I only have just jewels that I've earned, so I can't pull in this gotcha. So that's why it's like, well, that means all I can do with my jewels and just put it towards the gingerbread event. So I hope that was helpful. I will do more updates throughout the gingerbread event and so thank you guys for watching please consider subscribing um pretty much this is just gonna be just playing food fantasy food fantasy jp together figuring everything out together so yeah thank you guys for watching bye